Hi, I'm Mari Dangerfield and in this video we're going to be looking at the effects you can create when you put the Stylophone Beatbox and Stylophone Gen X1 together. Let's get started. So the first thing you can do is use the Gen X1 to manipulate sounds from the Beatbox. To do that you'll need a mini jack cable like this. And you'll need to connect one end to the aux input in the Gen X1 and the other to the headphone socket in the Beatbox. Now let's look at some effects. Some effects. Some effects. So the first effect I'd like to show you is a kind of filter sweep effect and we create that using the cutoff and resonance on the Gen X1 and then we'll demonstrate that using setting 2 which is the electronic drum setting on the beatbox and playing number 6. And what we're going to do as we gradually play we're going to turn the cutoff from 0 all the way to the right very slowly and then towards the end we'll just very slightly turn up the resonance from 0 as well. So the next effect I'd like to show you is with delay time which we have over here on the Gen X1 and I'd like to demonstrate that again with setting 2, so the electronic drum setting and we'll be playing number 5 over here. And what we're going to do is we're gradually going to turn the delay time knob all the way from the left to the right very very slowly and you're going to hear a really fun bouncing effect. The next effect I'd like to show you is with the rate and depth over here on the Gen X1 and I'm going to do that by playing number 3 over here on setting 3 which is the bass synth. And what you can do is you can do two things, you can start with the depth all the way to the right hand side and you can gradually turn the rate from the left to the right for a really fun wobbly effect or you can have the rate already right on the right hand side for that wobbly effect. fun thing you could do is use your beatbox's record and play functions alongside the Gen X 1's effects and why not add in an S1 too to jam over the top? For this you'll need to connect another mini jack cable from the beatbox's audio in to the stylophone's headphone output or audio output. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, I'd so appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Also feel welcome to leave any thoughts or questions in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you'd like any more information about the Stylophone Gen X1, the Stylophone Beatbox or any of the Stylophone products, click here to watch my Stylophone tutorials. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.